state of Mississippi, and Navy Seaman First Class William G. Busowitz will be laid to rest in Arlington National Cemetery. A new report about an investigation into workplace culture at CBS News is raising concern among some employees. According to the New York Times, outside investigators hired by the CBS board uncovered reports of misconduct by some 60 Minutes employees. That includes a never-before-reported claim of sexual assault against Don Hewitt, the creator of 60 Minutes. But the Times reports investigators did not find a toxic work or frat house environment for women at the wider news division, a finding disputed by multiple employees. Vladimir Dutier of our streaming network CBSN shows us the concern. Vlad, good morning. Good morning. Eight current female employees tell us they have experienced a toxic workplace or frat house environment, including harassment and being made to feel uncomfortable. A draft report prepared for the CBS board uncovered allegations of wrongdoing at the top levels of the most successful television news program in U.S. history. In its 51-year history, 60 Minutes has been run by just two executive producers, Don Hewitt and Jeff Fager. Both now reportedly face misconduct allegations, reviewed by the New York Times' Rachel Abrams from a leaked draft of a CBS investigation. It seemed like the investigators were very, very thorough. We know they interviewed hundreds of people, and their report included mixed results. According to the Times, the report found the success of 60 Minutes allowed it to operate separately from the rest of the news division, which led to misconduct by some 60 Minutes employees. In one instance, a former worker claimed Hewitt sexually assaulted her on repeated occasions and destroyed her career. CBS reportedly settled with the woman for a total of $5 million, plus $75,000 a year for life. Normally with a figure that big, you assume that the company has a reason to believe that something very serious went on. Hewitt retired in 2004 and died five years later. Fager has also faced allegations of sexual misconduct, including claims he groped one employee. Investigators reportedly determined CBS News was justified in firing him earlier this year for sending a threatening text message to CBS correspondent Jerika Duncan and then allegedly lying about it to investigators. They also gave credit where credit was due and credited Mr. Fager with, in some instances, promoting women. Fager told the Times of the text quote, my intent was only to demand fairness. And in response to the report, he said, this is the first I'm hearing some of these allegations. I was not given the opportunity by CBS investigators to respond. He later told us this report shows 60 Minutes is a good place for women, and the reports that it isn't were exaggerated. This comes just days after the Times reported on other allegations in the report against former CBS chairman and CEO Leslie Moonves, who allegedly destroyed evidence and deliberately lied about his sexual misconduct. The CBS board will have to decide if he's still entitled to a $120 million severance after reading the final report. There's a lot of stuff in there. There were a lot of people mentioned in there. I don't think this is going to be the last story about the investigation. We reached out to the investigators as well as to spokespeople for CBS and CBS News. All declined to comment in an email. CBS president and acting CEO Joe Ainello told employees it was frustrating the report leaked to the Times before management and the board knew about it. He says, while we still don't yet know the actual results, he understands the investigation is nearing an end. You know what else is frustrating? That this period of reckoning, I think, still continues for us. And the fact that this new reporting that eight current female employees say that they have experienced a toxic atmosphere means that there's still more work to be done here. And I, for one, am glad that that investigation is going on. I also hope that when it's all done that we will know exactly what happened here. I don't think we can move on until it comes out, let the chips fall where they may, and that we continue. There are a lot of talented people who are working here who are doing a really good job. I'm very proud to be part of the team, but this is very frustrating and, you know, I have to say embarrassing. I mean, one of the things we talked about more than a year ago when this started was that not only does this ruin people's lives, yeah. but it also drives women from the field of journalism or working at CBS News, which is a great company and full of great people. But we want to make sure that people not only feel safe here, but they are promoted in the right way, that their contributions are acknowledged in the right sort of way, so that we have the best workforce out of any news organization. And transparency is key throughout all of this. Well, thank you to you and the producers that have done a lot of this reporting. We appreciate it. Yes.